Oh, why? Hello there. Yes, yes, yes. Don't be alarmed. It is me, the magic chef. Don't worry. Tucker will be back. He's actually in Paraguay right now, the lucky son of a bitch. He's at the International Chili Festival. Kind of funny, we're going to bring that in later today. Chili is going to be one of our main recipe ingredients. So, basically what we have is we've got our three house guests. We've got Delirious Mark and Warg. They're already out at the gym. We've got them all fed and on their way. But we've got Terry left. Terry is here in our kitchens right now, waiting. He's hungry, so let's get him some food. All right, ladies and gents, let's go over a little bit about what he is actually going to be eating tonight. We've actually got a three-course meal set up for him. Step one is going to be actually four habanero peppers. Once he gets that, he gets a little treat. He's going to dine on two beers. Count them two, of course. And then lastly, we're going to finish off with this fantastic soup that we are going to be brewing in the next four to five hours until he's actually prepared to get ready for this. So stay tuned. We're going to get this whipped up in no time. Alrighty, we are back and here we're going to go. We're going to start off with some of our shoestring beets. We're going to pour that right into some mild boiling water. It's going to give us that brilliant, brilliant burgundy texture here. I want to make sure you get all of those out. You don't want to waste any of these delectable, delectable little sweets here. You're going to go ahead and take your creamy creamed corn. You're going to make sure you get that nice and and slather around. And again, we are going to have all of these uh, measurements inside. The, the ingredient list is going to be in the comment uh, in the comment space below. So be on the lookout for that. So we're going to let this uh, boil back up, and we're going to add in our uh, pickled pig's feet. It is semi boneless, which means not boneless at all. And it's also packed in vinegar and sodium, so these are preserved, but we do want to boil them down to make sure they're nice and slatherable for when he, uh, when he does uh, consume them down his gullet. So, uh, Tucker, I remember the first day of class, he walks in, and he's going over how he knows this and he knows that, and the head chef just looks at him. And he had it out for me for the day since. I mean, he was just, they were just worst enemies. Well, he, Tucker ends up working for the guy. Worst job of his life, okay? I guess that's why he found this program. So he ended up, uh, he gets in, a, in an argument with the boss. The boss is this Armenian guy going, bro, you know, listen here, this is what you have to do, this is what you have to do. And Tucker, he wasn't going to have any of it. He was just, he was done. He had his own mindset. But, you know, I think he's been doing all right. You know, we, we catch up every once in a while. And I, and I have to say, I think it was his unique perspective from day one, even of culinary school, that really made me admire that. Alrighty, we've got our Hormel pig's feet. Let's make sure we get all of that juice and everything inside of it. This is really going to render down and make your soup nice and thick because of all that fat and grease in there. I'm going to make sure these boil down, turn our heat on high once more. We're going to boil these down, really soften all this up, and it'll turn into a perfect, coagulated, power-ready meal for the hungry. Alrighty, we've had our soup going now for about a half hour, up to an hour. You can, you can wait or you can add this in. Now, I like to add a little earlier. It gets to ferment. We're going to add in one whole bottle of our Italia citrus lime juice. If I can get this open, there we are. You want to make sure you get that spread over the entire soup nice and even. And that's really going to bring out the essence of pork that's inside there. Just make sure you get that all. Uh -oh. Yeah, get that all gone. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our final habanero here. I've already got three cut up. We're just going to cut this last one in half. That'll go right on our plate. That way we know what's inside and people can steer clear. If you're not one for spicy foods, stay away from this meal, ladies and gentlemen. This is awfully hot. Also, when cutting these, make sure we're not touching our face or any of our skin because it's a son of a bitch. It really hurts. Looks like 
fucking burning. It's swollen now. This is swollen. Oh. <sighs> We'll do now. We'll go ahead and spread all that inside. Once again, all of this is going to just really boil down and turn into something ah, just unmistakably fantastic. It's really fucked. Anywho, we'll add in our uh, currants. Uh, you see it separating there? That's exactly what you want. You want this like oily consistency with the, a, a little bit of the. Uh, the ingredients of your uh, tamarindo beverage here and that should be fine you just want a couple spoons worth so 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 happy for this part okay I picked up two of my very favorite soy sauces they're actually from my favorite Asian cuisine delicatessen there in San Francisco where I live and I'm so excited to toss these in as well it's just gonna give it that spike a punch that little shit punch we need. Oh, no. There it goes. Here we are. We're going to use this bad boy right here, this Cuisinart Smart Stick, and we are going to blend up our stoop. Stoop. <laughs> Once it's nice and soft, like we are going to get inside this stew now, and we are going to mash this up, make it nice and pureed, so that your grandmama can eat it. What we're going to do now that we've got it nice and pureed and looking like a soup, we're going to take a test real quick. Oh! Mm-hmm. Mm. There, there that is. Right, fantastic. Now that our soup... Fuck. Now that our soup has been... Uh, stewing away here for about three hours. We're actually going to transfer it now into our bowl. A very simple process. And pour it over like such. Oh, oh my god, is that a bone? No, it's scrape the rest of this out here. So you want to get all the fixings, get all this ringed crust and crunch. You want to uh, flip, well flip it, and then from there you can just scoop it right on in. There we go. Perfect. And that, my friends, is pig feet beet stew. Tear up to here. Calling out Delirious Mark. I don't like his videos at all. He really sucks. He's not he's not fit to be a competitive eater. Um, I'm one upping him. About to get my pre-workout before I hit the MMA gym. I got four habanero peppers, a two beer chug, and a spicy habanero soup prepared by our B team chef, the magic chef. Um, <clears throat> Tucker couldn't make it today. And yeah, let's just get this started. Do this.
take up school with. Oh, 